Hello. Hi. So I just want to check everything out. I want to welcome you to this webinar. This is therapy. This is trauma transformation. This is your life. And you are in the right place if you are ready to transform. It's beautiful that you're here. And we're going to jump on in so we don't waste any time. And I can share all this beautiful content with you and the opportunity that you have. So I'm going to turn on the slides. I'll still be able to see your comments and your questions. And I'll also introduce myself here in just a second. If you haven't met me. So you are in this webinar, this master class. It's called This Isn't Therapy, This Is Life. And I'm going to share with you how trauma keeps you stuck and why it keeps you stuck. It's actually normal and common and expected. And there's a lot of information out there on how to get through trauma, how to process it, how to talk about it. But there's not much that I found over really a lifetime that I've spent overcoming my own trauma and walking out these steps for myself. There's not much that keeps us moving forward. We often get stuck in the processing of the trauma and we get stuck in six power zones, which I'm going to share with you today. And I'm going to share with you also the secrets to ending the cycle. I'm going to share with you the exact amazing you formula that has won me awards. And um, I've had the opportunity to get to speak all around the world. So you can you know, overcome it yourself and start living again. Reclaim your life. It's my intention to share with you a solution, a solution and some freedom all at the same time to, I want to beautifully and clearly share my heart and the amazing new program with you. I'm hoping this being my fourth time doing this exact class that we can open up and I'll be able to share it really concisely and clearly. So you'll be able to get everything that you desire from this. And if you don't know me, I really love to teach. So you're going to get some teaching. I want you to really understand all of this, everything, and why I am about to share it with you is so important because it is, it's true healing. It's lasting healing. It's something that you can use to go back. And when things come up again, which they naturally do as we evolve and grow our old patterns tend to show up again so we can look at them and handle them with more confidence, with more clarity, with more peace. And so I want to share with you how you can do that. And I really desire for you to leave um, understanding how old trauma can run your life and why it's not your fault and how you can stop it from running your life so you can live again. There's been a big gap in healing, in therapy, in the psychiatric awareness that it took me a very long time to cross over and realize what was missing from my own healing. I've worked with some incredible therapists, some incredible doctors. I've gone to school for this and I'm continuing to go to school for this. And in all of that, there was just this gap. And so I don't want it to take you another moment to cross that bridge from trauma and struggle into love, into feeling comfortable with who you are. And so I'm going to share it all with you today. We're going to unload it and I'm going to um, do my best to just give you a way out right here, right now, that you can say yes to and begin this next week. So a bit about me, just in case you're new to the community, you're new to getting to know me. My name is Antika Lisha, and I was actually born Lisha, so people call me Lisha, um, with a short I, it, so it's a different name. And then when I was 19, I really wanted to get away, wanted to reinvent myself 
And so I chose the name Antica because my father collects antiques and I desired to have a deeper connection with him. Funny thing is, he still calls me Lisha. In my journey to teach you this and to share this information with you, I've, I've walked through a lot. Expression has always been a really big deal to me. I was a singer growing up. It was a thing that gave me purpose, allowed me to keep going in life in times where I felt like I had no reason to go the times where, you know, for lack of a better word, I was in a suicidal state. Um, singing gave me something to look forward to. And so I'm a jazz singer now. I professionally sing. I get paid for it almost every week. <laughs> and that's just a fun aspect of me. I'm an author. I've written and co-authored five different books as well as multiple programs, uh, yoga teacher training, which you can see over here. I certify yoga teachers in the method that I'm about to share with you. I certify holistic trauma transformation coaches. I'm offering a purpose for those people that feel called into this service work. And and I write books. So From Bondage to Happiness is a book about my story, about overcoming my trauma, ending cycles of PTSD, ending cycles of not knowing how to cope and creating my coping skills. And so you can get that on Amazon. Ageless Beauty, Timeless Truths is a book that I co-authored with one person. Her name is Dr. Diadio Moses. She's one of um, just a beautiful light in the world. And it's actually... 300 or 237 tips for healthy living, healthy relationships, specifically about your body, your mind, and your relationships. And then I transferred that over to your own university. And now we have daily emails that go out that share these tips and many more about how to love your six personal power zones and create habits that are just easy and effortless. And this is a way for you to Join the, a community of people that are committed to living a life loving themselves. So that's at your own university. I'm also a mama. I have two beautiful girls who are my incredible teachers. They take me to the depths of understanding myself. And as they've grown, I've gotten the opportunity to recreate my childhood in a way that um, by protecting them, by ending the cycle of physical abuse and sexual abuse that I endured as a child that has really been the platform for me to learn how to stop the victim cycle, which we'll talk about in a minute, because in that sense, people were coming at me and I was being victimized and also stepped into the survival cycle that we'll talk about as well in this webinar that um, is where we kind of get stuck, but it also gives us we create coping skills as children. We create coping skills after an event and we live in that. So I learned how to do that. And now it's helping me. They are helping me step into being present and thriving and really owning that for myself. So they are my greatest teachers. I'm so blessed for them. And then the picture above there is me as a coach utilizing the tools that I'm about to share with you now in my everyday life. And when I say everyday life, it's not like, oh, I'm just perfect and everything is great, right? It's like, no, this week I even had like a really big blow and a meltdown and I had the tools. I had the tools I'm about to share with you to allow myself the self-acceptance to go into that, to heal what was broken open and to reclaim pieces of myself that were then ready to be reclaimed. So I'm going to talk about all of the tools that I'm about to share with you. I am currently getting my PhD in spiritual psychology and trauma therapy. I have a background in music and psychology. As far as education, I am certified as a 500 hour ERYT yoga teacher and yoga therapist, EFT, Reiki, mindset and energy awareness, um, and NLP and, oh my goodness, let me just look around, a uh, professional speaker, um, a lot of things, a lot of things I've put into years and years of study to 
and practice and offering this series to many, many women and a few amazing men. And I'm about to share it all with you. So let's dive in. How about that? Enough about me. Let's talk about trauma. Trauma is anything, anything that we cannot cope with. So if you've gone through small traumas and large traumas, but here's what's here's the big breaker. Maybe you had a physical trauma, like um, unfortunately, many of my clients have been abused as children in some fashion or form, maybe sexually, maybe physically, maybe mentally. Now, let's say the, it's a physical trauma. It affects you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, all in the same. Say it's an emotional trauma. It affects you spiritually because our mind affects our body. We're interconnected units. So when we go through a trauma at any age, at any time, it blows out our circuits. And our circuits are connected to everything. It's connected to the six layers that I'm about to speak about in just a few minutes. And it's like a bomb goes off. So when a bomb goes off, it shatters everything everywhere. It's like, and you're shattered open. It leaves you exposed and open and a wound is open. And if you've ever had a scraped up knee, and I think most of us have at some point in our lives, and when it's not healed yet, you touch it, it's like sensory goes off. So what this leaves us is it leaves us extremely emotional, very sensitive, and intuitive, which is natural for everybody, but even more so for people who have gone through a trauma that wasn't rebooted and reset. And it, it's like, right? And unless you go back in and you rebuild yourself, you rebuild the city, you reset the breakers, that elect, the electrical unit of you, right? Because you are energy. We are energy. Our atoms are energy. We're made up of energy. What happens is there's a bust. It blows open. All of our energetic wires are out there exposed and really sensitive to the touch, to the feel, to all of our senses. It gets harder and harder to cope with reality when we're open and exposed. And you might heal one side of it and be really good and be able to cope in that area. However, the rest of it's still exposed. So relationships, stepping into your purpose, making good money, having deep, fulfilling relationships and, and intimate relationships becomes more and more challenging. Feeling fulfilled and connected with your body becomes more and more challenging. Calming your thoughts and having peace becomes more and more challenging. And not being overly emotional, right, becomes more and more challenging. And it's natural because your circuits are blown. So if you've gone through a trauma and your circuits are blown, please just, I want to give you your first piece of awe right now and invite you to have some compassion for yourself. Have some, take a deep breath with me, exhale it out, and know like, ah, oh, my circuits are blown. All my wires are out, out and exposed. And what we need to do is go into the breaker room of you and reset the breaker so this, the wires can come back in. So instead of being an outside world, being affected by everything outside of you, you can bring that awareness back in and have tools to cope and deal with all of that stuff that seemed overwhelming before. Okay, so just a working definition, I love this definition, is an inescapable, stressful event that overwhelms people's existing coping mechanisms. So many of my clients, they have been traumatized as children. As children, we don't have coping mechanisms. Our coping mechanisms are whatever was taught to us. And if whatever was taught to you by your parents or those people around you were 
um, drugs and alcohol or yelling and screaming or abusive behavior, then those are the only coping mechanisms that you had. So how do you like uh, reclaim your essence, right? Your essence from that. So I'd like to know if you have any questions about um, how trauma affects you. And also please just say hi if you're here. I think you can type it in your phone, see the chat box there. I wanna say, say hello and get to know you personally here. Answer any questions that you have about trauma specifically and how it affects us. It's a startling experience which has a lasting effect on mental life. Now this is where therapy doesn't, doesn't work with what I'm about to share with you. And this is where I got stuck repeating the cycle of going and seeking the therapist um, until my early 30s. Now I'm in my early 40s, but until my early 30s. And you know, I'd go in and I'd tell the same story and it was like, Oh man, and they'd latch on to it, and I wouldn't get very far into, well, how do I live now? So it's not only going to affect your mental life. Hi, Lexi. Hello. It's not only going to affect your mental life, but it definitely will, but it's also going to affect the rest of your life. And we're going to go into that now. So if you have any questions at any time, please type them in. I see that you're here. I'm so thrilled that you're here, so honored that you're here. And um, feel free to just type in your questions or just say hello. Let me know that you're here. This is what it also does is it connects you into the energy of the group. So you can really, you're going to take on this healing, this awareness, and be able to recall it later. By saying hey so let me share with you the six areas that trauma blows out no matter what the trauma is different traumas that can blow you out a divorce of course abuse abuse of any kind whether it's abuse from somebody else childhood abuse abuse from a co-worker and bullying abuse from substance onto self right so alcoholism drug addiction um, just medical addiction, right? There's many good treating. Hello, Tina from Europe. Woohoo! Welcome. Um, you know, a car accident. Where else have people have come to me? Oh, dealing with MS or fibromyalgia or cancer and getting to know this. This is a big, like, you don't think of it as trauma. But it's, it's new. It is trauma. Moving can be a trauma. Um, OCD is an effect of trauma, a really common effect of trauma. And what happens is our circuits are blown. So we get hypersensitive to things, right? And so this are, these are common things that happen and are effects of this blowout. And um, what it does is it calls us to an awareness of where we need to pay attention. And we need to pay attention to all six of these power zones so we stay in balance. And that's my intention. That's my desire for you today is to help you be aware of this so you can bring yourself back into balance. Because when we just focus on one of these things, the others are going to go out of balance. And I'll tell you bits about my story around this um so physically mentally vibrationally emotionally relationships and purpose is what gets blown out so a bit about the body your body is your physicality so if it's really challenging like there's nothing you can do to keep yourself from eating what you know you shouldn't eat or from taking a substance that you know is negatively affecting your body or not working out and just feeling stuck in that. This is actually when body is needing attention and on blowout and it's so sensitive. So we focus on the pain, right? We focus on, I want to lose the weight because that's a common thing that happens. We either lose weight or gain weight and can't really control it. Remember, we're out of 
out of control when we are on a blowout. This is a really common one. So we gain weight and we can't control it to release the weight naturally. And our attention goes on the body. However, what's really normally what's really blown out is the belief systems in the mind. So hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. I see I'm watching as people join. Please say hi and feel free to ask any questions as we go through this webinar or just make any comments as they come up for you. What it will do is solidify it right into the body, into the body of the group for healing. So you have this relationship with your body. It's calling you into it. Once you get into this healing relationship and maybe you overcome that and you heal whatever it is in the body, you're feeling really good with it, then the mind starts showing up and the symptoms of the blowout of the mind, now that the body's in a line, will start activating. So the mind starts racing. Then it's harder to work out, harder to take care of yourself. You start emotionally eating, right? And the mind is going. So then you focus on the mind and the body gets sicker again. And then you get your mind really in check. You you go to the therapist, you get the mind in check. Maybe you're doing some of the tools. Maybe you're doing tapping or meditation or focus visualizations. You're doing your mindset work. You feel really great. And all of a sudden, a depression hits like out of this world. I hear this story from my clients all the time. Like the depression just hit and I can't get out of it. I feel worthless. I feel drained. I have no energy. Your vibration goes down. Why? Because now your body's okay. It's had some attention. Your mind needs got some attention. Now your vibration needs some attention. And it continues this cycle all the way around this until you get up and finally you realize, oh my goodness, I'm not making the money. I'm not having the purpose. I'm not living my authenticity. I don't feel like me. And you're in the purpose zone. But one by one, as we heal through trauma, you have to focus and heal all of these. Now the cycle goes like this. You get to the purpose. You find that job that you absolutely love. You feel good there and you notice, oh, I've gained 30 pounds. <laughs> and you're back to square one. My intention today is to share with you how to really take care of all these things in a non overwhelming way because your circuits are already blown one more fucking chore is too much and if you can't handle cussing please <laughs> don't be here <laughs> um this is not the place for you just uh fyi i cuss and i talk about god right so those two things um if they aren't good for you uh i'm not your coach if you can handle it you're in the right place so we go through the cycle and it just circles. And for me, I went through cancer and that drew me into my body. Then I went through major mindset and I lived on an ashram and learned how to control my mind. Then I went through a deep suicidal depression and my vibration was completely off. It was horrible, but I got to learn deeper into my energy body and um, emotions and emotionality. I, stayed, I studied a lot of David Hawkins work if you've heard of him. And then I felt really disconnected from my soul, that essence of me that was just good already, that was already healed, that was already whole. And I learned how to live inside out. And, and that began to teach me how this goes together. But then my relationship, my previous marriage was just falling apart. I had attracted old news for me to live out and heal that cycle of relationships in my life. And I, I just like it blew out, right? Amazing man, my deepest healer, but but it blew out. So I had to focus on that relationship and how to be a wife and then how to be a mother and then how to be a like whatever. And I've spent years focusing there and learning about relationships and learning who I was in relationship. And then it was time to get my purpose out. And with that, and it's like, how do you live in that? What is that? And literally yesterday, I'm still getting messages on purpose. And guess what's blown out right now? <sighs> My body. I've gained some weight going through next phase of life. So I've hired a coach to go back there. So the cycle is going to continue no matter what. The difference is, is now I feel comfortable in my skin. 
Now I'm still connected to my sensuality. My mindset is still in, in place. My vibration, I'm still managing. Hey, I can handle the emotions. I am sensitive, but it's okay. I'm connected to my soul. My relationships are unbelievable and continuously growing into unbelievable. I'm, it's incredible. Um, one area in my life where I'm like, yes. And then my purpose is stepping into it deeper and deeper and deeper as I own that I'm a trauma transformation coach, a trauma transformer. And this is something that I didn't own for a long time. So I just have a question for you guys. You heard my story a bit. You've seen the cycle. Where do you think that you're at in this cycle of needing to pay attention? Yes, I have the tools now, Sonia. Sonia just went through the program. She has the tools now, too. Um, so where do you think that you're at in this cycle? What? part of this area which area of your life is calling the most of your attention right now so i'll give you a second i know there's a lag here take a drink Say hello, say hello, body, Sophie, perfect. That, the body zone actually can hold us for a lifetime. I have many women um, hire me that are, and like, it's funny, the men hire me in the relationship zone and the women hire me in the body zone. And some of us can be in the body zone for a lifetime, right? Because it can, it can be a trap. Sonia relationships. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So knowing where you are in this, what's calling your attention is going to help a couple things, body and purpose. Beautiful. So you're right at that cusp. You're like going around. You're about to go around again. Right? And this is a cycle of, of life. Right? And every time that you go around this cycle, you go up a scale. You have more tools. You're able to cope better you have more direction and you're able to give it a different perspective and my book from bondage to happiness is really all about perspective is gaining this perspective and gaining the tools and we can jump from one level higher into a place that's even more in control and more confident and so that's what i'm going to share with you today is the tools that you can use to do this but here's what happens when we stay stuck when we're in the cycle of surviving right when you're in the cycle of surviving which if you've gone through a trauma everything is blown out everything is so sensitive the body's reacting more sensitively so it's easier for us to get sick and get diseased the mind is more affected so people's outside comments hurt more the vibration is more effective so we tend to be more emotional and empathic and sensitive people say your soul is more effective it's actually a lot of times just disconnected because the lower three rungs the body the vibe and the mind are protecting your life essence so calling your life essence back into your body is going to help you in this cycle and i go through that in the amazing you program a very specific practice to do that and then your relationships are affected right so you can handle more but you're going to call in the same crap that you tried to live through the first time because of the survival so i want to talk about a couple things that in therapy are deemed bad um so please say hi if you just joined and welcome to the webinar um you can i'll send out a replay so you can watch the bit of the first part but stick around here because there's you're, we're just getting into it so the victim if you've gone through a trauma your circuits are blown out right and each of those zones are beginning to cope with it help you cope with it to the best of your ability we're oftentimes don't we're told don't be a victim right don't be a victim well if you were victimized you were victimized meaning you were a victim 
meaning an outside force came in, right? You can go all spiritual. Let me pause here for a second because there's spiritual bypassing, which is really important to understand. We can go all spiritual and go all like into this higher realm of being and look down as, as we are one with God, right? And go, everything is in divine order. I called that into my existence and it was perfect that I was beaten and abused, right? We can do that. That's spiritual bypassing because that's true on one sense, right? However, even Hitler had his place in the world story. However, let's come down into this reality and look at an outside force came in on us, hit us, and created a bomb where we didn't know where to cope with it. So we checked out. That's why when you get in a car accident or you give birth or something, we don't remember. Right? We don't remember what happened because the circuits are blown and our essence is protected. We're victimized. Now, if we don't reset and reboot from that experience, we go into survival. We start reaching out and seeking out any and all kinds of survival mechanisms. Drugs and alcohol, common survival mechanism. Um, Disease is a common survival mechanism. It's a way for our body to call our attention into one of the zones that were blown out, right? Um, anger and depression is a coping mechanism and that works because it gets us to slow down and pay attention to that area or pay attention to the depression or whatever we label it, the OCD, the um, anxiety, right? And we, we, get, we get stuck there. We can get stuck there. The weight, we can get stuck there, focusing on that area. Um, I mean, these are just common things in survival that we do to cope. We check out, we become really good, we people please. We try to keep the peace, right? We try to be perfect. We um, we dive into, like I did, I dove into self-help. I have an addiction to self-help. I do. And it's not that pretty sometimes. And it's cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And um, at the same time, it saved my life. It was a beautiful coping mechanism. It also gave me this, so now I can help you save hundreds of thousands of dollars. But um, it was a survival, right? And if we're stuck in survival, this is this is naturally where we're going to be in here. And when things are going wrong and you're used to it, this guy is shot up, right? He's like, I'm okay. I'm all good. I'm all right, right? Um, one thing that's really common for women after going and surviving, and, and men too, I believe, and going and surviving um, sexual abuse as a child, any spectrum of sexual abuse as a child, is pr being promiscuous later in life. And we do this to numb it out, to disconnect from the sensuality and the sexuality and the sacredness of sex and numb it out so we could handle it again if we're shot up, if something bad happened, so we could handle it, right? So it would be okay. And what this does is it alleviates us from doing things like having multiple consistent orgasms. <laughs> it's another thing that I dive into in the course. All right, so here's survival. Where I wanna get you to, I wanna give you the tools today to get you into being present. The Power of Now is um, you know, a very popular book years back, but I just love the title. The Power of Now, because when we can get present with what is going on right now, then we can cope with what is, what is. When we know how our mind works, how our vibration works, and we're no longer scared of it, it is no longer us. We don't associate it with who we are any longer because you have an, a connection with your soul, then you can heal. Then this situation of surviving is no longer okay. You can draw that line in the sand and set beautiful boundaries for yourself and hold those boundaries for yourself. So do you have any questions 
on this part before we move on to this page, which is pressing reset, resetting your breaker, rebooting your system, and bringing yourself into alignment. Do you guys have any questions here? I'm going to thank you again for joining. Any questions or any like, oh, ahas, you can share your ahas, we can celebrate in here. A big part of this program that's different than therapy where you go in and you're like, this is my problem and let's talk about it. In this program, we talk a lot about your wins and it's really uncomfortable if you're stuck in survival, right? Because it just is. I don't know why, but learning how to lean into pleasure and to lean into your wins and how to celebrate and how to like really feel confident about yourself can be challenging when everything is so sensitive. So any questions, anything? Okay, then I'm going to move on. All right. So press reset, resetting your breaker. So resetting your breaker really consists of a couple things. And um, first you have awareness. So if you've been to therapy or if you've just journaled about your experience, if you know what happened in the past, then you don't really need to dig anymore. We don't, we, we can time travel and heal the past. And that's part of the program actually as well, but that's a little woo woo for here, but we can't go back physically, right? And tell our mother to do something different, tell our father to do something different, tell the bullies at school to do something different, right? We, we can't travel back and make it better for ourselves in, in that particular sense. So all we can really bring to it, forgiveness has helped you tremendously, Sonia Perfect, is, is an awareness. And to even go into forgiveness, as Sonia said, she had to be aware of what there is to forgive. And this awareness is going to, the more confident you get in your healing and utilizing these methods here on, on the tools on the other side, you're going to be more and more aware of different things, the good and the best and, and the bad and the awesome and bring it all into the present moment. So it's no longer out of your awareness. From awareness, you can build responsibility. Oftentimes, as trauma survivors, we feel responsible for everybody, including ourselves, but everybody. Where a victim is blaming, maybe righteously blaming, but blaming the outside world and victim mentality, which people can get stuck in, is blaming the outside world, right? That didn't work because she was the problem. He didn't work because that was the problem. This is the problem. Have you met those people, right? And they're kind of energy vampires. A survivor is kind of the opposite. We give and we give and we give and we give. We're people pleasers and, and we take responsibility for ourselves and everybody else. In responsibility, you drop this. You can forgive yourself for taking responsibility for your mother and your father and their happiness, for your kids and their happiness, for your spouse and their happiness, for, for you know the whole world, right? Everything being on your shoulders. And let that go and discern how to be responsible for yourself. And all six of your personal power summons, really seven, because the seventh is you. And that's going to give you a true control. What you can control is you. What you can't control is them or it. And that is power. That is standing in empowerment. I'm going to share the tools of the Amazing You formula. This is the formula that I've used for the body. These are the most important tools. There's a lot that goes into them. And honestly, you can use these tools in each of the power zones. So they're interwoven. So not only are you going to get these tools in the program and effectively know how to use them, right? We have a workbook that comes with the program. You get a chapter a week for all 12 weeks. You get multiple videos and yoga and yeah, that's a natural place to be. Sonia just said, yes, I blamed everybody. That's a really natural place to be. And then we move into survival, right? Now we're going to move into 
into being present and then thriving, then thriving. All right. So for, for this program, you're going to get yoga. You're going to get nutrition. A whole, the Nourish You program is my nutrition program that I've been using with people and coaching people through since 2008. Um, the Amazing You Yoga I've been teaching since 2006. And, and so this is the body portion. And it works all 12 weeks I give you assignments in it. So body is nutrition, movement, water. If you already have a great nutrition, movement, water program, this is great. It's just a bonus, right? It might open your eyes to something new, but you'll be like, oh, cool. For mindset, I found that EFT, which is really popular as tapping, is really effective. However, as a trauma person, if you do EFT the normal way, it actually increases the cycle of trauma in your life because it speeds up that cycle of healing, which means your shit's thrown back at you faster. So I have found a way to specifically use tapping effectively that doesn't trigger that response from the world and from your brain. So you don't leave anything exposed. You can actually heal. So it's very specific in this program. NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. Your words matter. Our words hold power. So you're going to learn how to utilize your words to really start manifesting in your life what you desire and looking at things differently. And then the power of visual visualization and the actual components of your mind, your unconscious, subconscious, and, and conscious brain and how to use them understand them, make peace with them. So you're running your own darn computer. How does that sound? How does that sound? That's just like, oh, right. <sighs> okay. Then the vibration, right? Toning music is huge. A 528 Hertz music. You can look it up on YouTube as really healing. We're going to do clearing work. You have chakra centers or energy centers, nerve endings. They're actual nerve endings in Western, the Western world. They're nerve bundles in your spine that are connected to how energy flows, how your emotions flow. We're going to reconnect these back into you in this program. And, but you can look up and, and align chakras and then defining your emotions for you. This is your own personal blueprint. These workbooks, this, I mean, unbelievable breakthroughs people get. How do you manage depression? How do you cope with stress? This is incredible. Okay, so soul. Like I said earlier, a lot of times in trauma, our essence is protecting our life essence. So we are going to go deeper into our bodies and reseed the soul. This is a beautiful practice that God led me into. Um, I feel really blessed for it. It is life transformational. We use the vibration, the mindset, and the body to, to embody the soul. And then Ending old patterns really becomes effortless. Some of them just disappear. This is where miracles happen for my clients in these weeks. Relationships, we're going to go through boundary setting. There's some specifics in setting boundaries that we need to look at after overcoming trauma that other people don't. And I spoke about how we take responsibility for other people, right? And we get into people pleasing to survive. It's a beautiful surviving mechanism. So discovering how to set really great boundaries is really important. And then the three C's of your truth. Oftentimes we become chameleons. So we have a different hat for every situation that we're in and we're fitting into each group and we're, you know, either the life of the party or completely invisible. And so how do you step into that midline of it? We're going to do that in the C3 workshop. Then purpose. I have found that your purpose is to be you, right? So this whole program is going to bring you back into your purpose of just simply being you and doing what you feel aligned doing, following your passion, your desires, um, your mission, your service, and your action. Now, this is really important, but also purpose is what gives us reason to live. Um, I was in a, a group watching a talk last night, actually at an AA meeting with a friend. I'm not an alcoholic, but 
I like the meetings and everything. I think the 12 steps are beautiful. And so I went to support a friend and I'm, I'm sitting there listening to this man's story and he's talking about purpose and it was like big lights <laughs> above. It was kind of wild. And, and it was like purpose eliminates a suicidal thought. If a person has a purpose, they want to live. And they'll do anything to live out that purpose. It's when we are disconnected from the purpose that we don't have that. So I did a talk on suicide this last week at an event here in Anchorage. And, and that was brought up many times. Then I was like, an addict's survive, like how they get through it is AA or NA or, or CA or, or OA becomes their purpose. They have service in there. Their purpose is to be sober, right? I'm like, oh, that becomes the purpose, the reason to live, the bigger than their old purpose, which was to get the drink or to use the substance or to make the sale, right? So we have we have workers anonymous too, right? And and then for a survivor, our purpose is to survive. So in this program, I want you to tap into and connect with your purpose beyond survival, your purpose to be present, your purpose to be thriving. Like, What is your purpose? What is the bigger mission, the biggest, bigger service, the biggest action that you're here to take that you desire? So do you have a connection with that? Um, so now we're at the end of the slide. I I am going to talk now more about the opportunity of this program and and going forward with you. But you have these tools now. You can take them and and use them. Like I said, I am I'm specialized, I'm trained in all of this. I love all of this. You're going to be working with somebody who's been in it for 20 years working the program and and developing this program. So you're going to know how to use these tools. All right. So let me talk about the average coach prices, just so you know. This is a 12-week program. So I just went through, and like, average fitness coach is $100 a session, 12. 100. Mindset NLP coach average for a six-week course is 2,500. So 5,000. A Reiki master emotional rebalancing therapist, you know, we'll say $100 per session. It's usually much more. We'll do 12. Um, a meditation, it's a medication, I think that's funny, but meditation coach, healer, um, going to retreats to reconnect with your soul, learning all these things. The only person I know that does this work that re-embodies the soul, he charges $5,000 for um, a series of 10. So this, I'm going to say, is 25. Relationships coaches range from 2,000 to 500 for their packages, which usually aren't 12 weeks, but we'll just say they are. So I'm going to say midline there, 3,000. Mindset and manifesting coaches, if you're going to hire a good business coach and um, manifesting coach, I'd say about $5,000 on average for a 12-week package for three months. So you can invest in healing your trauma over the course of each zone calling your attention about $18,000, and that's really conservative, really conservative, right? I feel like um, if you're called here, you're getting this webinar, and this speaks to you. The only reason you're not going to step into it is because of fear of change, because you're used to the drama and the trauma, and you don't know how to imagine how to create a new life for yourself. And it's a scary thing, and I get that. So if that's you, I want to encourage you to step into this right here, right now. Right right here, right now. All right, so let's just hear. So Sonia's here on the line. She said, I have completed Antica's private 12-week program. I've gone through a number of counseling programs over the years, but I have never had the breakthroughs like I have had with Lisha. It has been absolutely an amazing journey for me. She has helped me in every area of my life. She gets to the core of the problems. I have never been able to completely open up to anyone like this before. I experienced trauma spiritually, sexually, emotionally, and mentally, you name it. I went through it. Words cannot adequately express the gratitude that I feel for everything she has done for me. 
Lisha is amazing in her life work helping others. So if this speaks to you, if you want this change, you can get it. So those are week two. So Nick is one of my male clients. He's going through the holistic coaching certification program. Um, Antika Lish is an excellent coach, a powerful cheerleader and friend who would not hesitate to call me out on my victim story. And when I'm playing a small game and not stepping into big, big, the big leagues, she carries a strong motherly aura that makes me feel loved. And that's why I really, uh, that is what's really special about her. I recommend her. Highly recommend her. Um, Nick has an amazing story. He came in with a job he didn't really like. He was um, really people pleasing and, and into it. And I do have permission to share bits of his story. And then he he transitioned out of that job in a really powerful way and went through some some stuff, utilized the tools of this program. And one thing he wanted was a relationship and a job doing something that he really loved um, in a company that really appreciated him. And he's manifested and created both of those things in his life so far. And um, we're not even through all 12 weeks yet. So of the experience, and then he's becoming a coach as well. So so Jen is also, she just finished her 12 weeks. She um, posted in our, whoa, woman, you matter group on Facebook. I'm really celebrating her this week. She's done incredible. So Jen says, I have been on a journey of healing and growth for the last few years and can say that I've come so far. Up until now, my issue was being able to really overcome the damage caused by experiencing childhood trauma. I decided to partner with Antica and Euron University and join the Holistic Coaching Certification Program in June. I've just completed week 10 out of 12 coaching sessions, and the level of trauma healing and growth that is happening in my life has been such a huge relief and blessing. I've tried and tried to get to this level personally and professionally before, and she has, like again, you know, over and over, with different coaches, different things, right? Trying and trying to get here. Because of Antica and learning the six personal power zones, I can honestly say that I'm on my way to a life of energy, joy, love, compassion, connection, and abundance. Thank you for paving the way, Antica. I'm so excited to pay it forward and continue facilitating healing in myself and others. She is an incredible coach to be. She's entering in her second quarter in the coaching, holistic coaching training. And um, she just went through the experience. So she just went through the amazing new program for herself. Amazing, amazing results she had for herself personally and professionally. Personally and professionally, just beautiful. Registration is open as of this minute. This is your opportunity to transform your life, to bring all the tools that you've been hearing about online together into one place, to stop seeking and looking for your answers and be the answer that you desire to be. Love you. Bye.